Hey folks, Nick the Nurse here. Today we're going to be talking about some of the nursing interventions associated with the nursing disorder of hypermagnesemia. Now with hypermag, one of the most important nursing interventions that you're going to need to know in order to get maximum point value on your nursing school exams and eventually on your NCLEX is to remember that you need to monitor or assess the patient for hyporeflexia. The patient's going to have diminished deep tendon reflexes as a result of having an elevated magnesium level. That is extremely important to remember. It's very highly testable, and I would recommend that you commit that to memory. Additionally, you also want to obviously monitor the patient's blood magnesium levels, monitor their vital signs, level of consciousness. Uh, you want to encourage fluids to get that excess magnesium out of the body, um, if, unless the patient is in renal failure, of course. Uh, we want to instruct the patient to avoid foods that are high in magnesium. Well, obviously, if your patient is suffering from an excess of magnesium, you probably don't want to give them foods that are high in mag. Um, you also want to monitor the patient's intake and output. Administer IV calcium gluconate for magnesium sulfate overdose as ordered. So if your patient suffers from a mag sulfate overdose, and this might be a pregnant woman who's suffering from eclampsia, you want to make sure that you have IV calcium gluconate on hand. This is another one that's highly testable. You also want to teach the patient from ingesting magnesium-containing drugs such as antacids and laxatives. Those things have tons of magnesium, and we want to make sure that the patient is aware of that so that they don't take those um, if they have hypermag. Additionally, we want to make sure that you can anticipate as a nurse on your nursing school exams or on the NCLEX, the, the physician might order hemodialysis because in the event of kidney failure, um, which can lead to hypermag, the patient might need to be dialysized to get that extra magnesium off the body. And we want to make sure that they don't have that extra magnesium on their body. Why? Because that can lead to life-threatening conditions such as arrhythmia. So something that we really have to watch out for in terms of patient safety and physiologic integrity. Again, my name is Nick the Nurse. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. If you'd like to check out any of my other completely free videos, they're all at www. Dot nickthenurse.com. Again, that's www.nickthenurse.com, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Nick the Nurse. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.